Hey there, this is Mr. Mason Ned, and what we're going to do today is practice translating an object on the coordinate plane. So what we have here is a triangle that we're going to translate nine units to the right and four units down. Now all the translation really is, is a geometric term used to describe a function that moves an object on the coordinate plane. So remember, the object is not changed or altered in any other way. It is not rotated, reflected, or resized. Now after translating this object, we should understand that every point of the object must be moved in the same direction and the same distance. That way the resulting object will be congruent to its original. So what we're going to do first is we're going to see where each point is currently located. Point A is at negative 8, positive 2. Point B is at negative 8, positive 8. And point C is located at negative 4, positive 2. Now we are being asked to translate our triangle 9 units to the right. Any movement to the right on the coordinate plane is a positive movement in the x direction. That just means we have to add 9 to all of our x values. And we have to translate this triangle 4 units down as well. Any movement downward is going to result in a negative movement in the y direction. Therefore, we're just going to subtract 4 from each y value. So first, let's add 9 to each x value. Negative 8 plus 9 is positive 1. Negative 8 plus 9 is also positive 1 and negative 4 plus 9 will result in positive 5. Now let's subtract 4 from all of our y values. 2 take away 4 is negative 2, 8 take away 4 is positive 4, and 2 take away 4 is negative 2. So after adding 9 to all of our x values and subtracting 4 from all of the y values, we will come up with the coordinates to where our object is going to be translated to. So we can simply plot those points and then create our new object on the coordinate plane. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take our object and slide it over 9 units to the right, and then we're going to slide it 4 units down, just to show it will end up in the coordinates that we came up with. Okay, so let's start by moving the triangle to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 to the right. All right, now let's slide our triangle 4 units down. 1, 2, 3, and 4 units downward. All right, now let's check to make sure that our points are in the correct location. Point A did end up at positive 1, negative 2, and point B did end up at positive 1, positive 4, and point C did end up on positive 5 negative 2. So we were able to successfully translate this triangle 9 units to the right and 4 units down. So any movement to the right on the coordinate plane just means you're going to add something to the x value. Now if you were to move something to the left then you'd subtract that amount from your x value and any movement downward is a movement in the y direction and you would subtract from your y value. And anytime you would move something upward you would end up taking the amount that you moved upward and adding that number to each one of your y values. Hey, I just want to say thanks very much for checking out my math video. Please subscribe to my channel so when I upload new math videos, you can become informed as they become available.